Ooh, wait, Christian's quest. How you doing out there in uh, internet land? Hey, oh, someone's trying to message me. What's going on? So, this is Thrifting with Uncle number three. Today is the music edition. Because over the past few months or so, I've found a lot of cool CDs and music books, guitar books, particularly. Um, thrifting is a weird thing. You kind of have to either go all the time, a few times a week, and you get a good score, you can find some cool stuff, or randomly just do it now and then, and every you might get lucky, but really to find the treasures that I seek, you got to go a lot. And right now I'm not doing that a lot, because I've got a lot of stuff. I've got everything I need, I want, all the CDs and books and shit. So, oh, so um, I don't really need much anymore, so I, uh, I'm not doing it. And in fact, I'm giving a lot away, just because, I don't know, it's potlatch. Got to give it away to be, uh, to be rich. I don't know what that means. Okay, so this one, Grady. Cup of po Cold Poison. So I don't know if you guys know what Grady is, but it's Gordy Johnson's band in Texas. Gordy Johnson of Big Sugar. But they're like metal. I don't know how to explain it. Like heavy rock. Like the guitars are down tuned and yeah, it's good stuff. This one isn't their, is this their second album? I like the first one. Which I can't remember the title of, but it's really good. This one's pretty good too, and uh, it's uh, it's it's rocking. You know, you put that on and it'll start a mosh. So if you ever find it, get it. It's really hard to find. They probably only put out a couple thousand, few thousand copies. I was lucky to find that one. I've, I, it's the only one I've ever seen. I got this in like mint, mint condition. Uh, Tom Waits Mule Variations. This came out, I think, in 99? I don't know. I can't read. I need my glasses. And it's a it's a classic. There's some great tunes on there, like uh, Low Side of the Road, Get Behind the Mule, What's He Building in There, Black Market Baby, Eyeball Kid, my favorite, Chocolate Jesus. That's such a fun one to play. So, yeah. <clears throat> great album. It was the first one he did after like taking years, most of the '90s off, and uh, it's it's great. It's classic. It's Tom Waits' growly, bourbon smoke voice, with a couple of those weird Tom Waits ballady things, you know, where he's like a crooning old man on a piano type stuff. But uh, it's a good album. It's got some stompers. You know, it's good. It's got some killers. Then I found I found the trio of one, two, mm -hmm. and three. This one's still in plastic. Johnny Cash. The price is $16.99, but I got it for like a buck or two. Maybe not even that much. At a thrift store downtown. So I got the, the holy trinity of the Johnny Cash albums that were produced by Rick Rubin, and these respectively came out in 2000, 1994, and 1998, so 1998, 1994, and then 2000. So these are um, the reboot, basically, uh, American Recordings and um, Rick Rubin uh, produced signed and then produced between three and six albums for Johnny Cash in the 90s and early 2000s leading up to his death. Johnny Cash died in 2003, I think. Don't yell at me if I'm wrong. But these are great, great. What Rick Rubin did was he essentially stripped Johnny Cash down from like the, I don't know, 80s sounds that he was stuck in and just stripped it down back to Johnny Cash, his voice and his guitar, and simple songs, but good songs. And he, they wrote songs together, Johnny Cash wrote songs on his own, and then they did some wicked cover tunes, like uh, 
Soundgarden's Rusty Cage by Johnny Cash. God, that's a stomper. I Won't Back Down, you know, the Traveling Wilburys, uh, Solitary Man. Jeez, uh, there's so many good songs in here. Before My Time, <coughs> Wayfaring Stranger. Uh, da, 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 da. Where are we now? See, I need my glasses. The Kneeling Drunkard's Plea, Southern Accents, Mean-Eyed Cat, Unchained, I've Been Everywhere, uh, The Beast in Me, Why Me, O Lord, Bird on a Wire, Tennessee Stud, Redemption, uh, I think he did Redemption with Joe Strummer. It's great. So yeah, if you ever get the chance to get these three, do it. American Recordings, Unchained, and American 3, Solitary Man. So those were some pretty damn good scores out there in the thrift land. Okay, then really quickly, uh, the Guitar Handbook. I got it, wow, it was 35 bucks at Longo McQuaid, but I got it for 2 bucks. This basically runs the gamut of everything. It's got lessons, it's got how to read notes, it's got like all the notes and piano and guitar and how guitars are made some famous guitarists studio stuff you know how to do maintenance and customize your guitar the cycle of fifths inversions scales funk bossa nova all kinds of guitar really good book if you find it buy it I got it I don't know how much I got it for maybe four or five bucks then I found this I'm not a fan of Pearl Jam, but I'm a sucker for rock bios just because, you know, I've been on the road a long time and it's, it's a crazy world to live in. And this is their book called 20. So it's celebrating 20 years of Pearl Jam, I think. But it's just really cool. It's got a sort of all the gigs and, and you know, st st stories and anecdotes from the band of recording and touring and stuff like that. Uh, it's it's entertaining. I love it. I'm not a crazy fan about the band, but, you know, it was cheap, so I bought it. Then this one, Finger Picking. And I bought this because I feel like I've... Oh, and it has the CDs, too. I feel like I, I need to be better at sort of like... Finger picking on the old guitar... So I picked that up and I've learned a couple things out of it and typically I just put the book down. I gotta get back on it. So yeah, that's thrifting with uncle, that's the stuff I got out on the trap line, just risking my life every day when I go out there for you folks. So stay tuned and I hope you come back and I hope you have luck thrifting on your own. And if you wanna go thrifting with uncle, just send me a message. If you're in town, message me on Facebook, you know? Not that hard to get a hold of. And I'll take you on my trap line, show you how it's done, okay? All right, Cooks Jam, thanks for coming by, and we'll see you on the next Thrifting with Uncle. Oh.